So this is the Star Wars Galactic Snacking Grogu, the 9.25 inch tall animatronic figure with over 40 sound and motion combinations and interactive accessories. So it comes with four accessories and it requires four double A batteries not included. So the four in interactive accessories are going to be a bowl with te tentacles, a cookie, a shifter knob, whatever that is, and a spoon. You place the accessories in his hand to see his reaction. He has over 40 sounds. His head, ears and arms move. His eyes open and close. And if you pat his head three times, you activate a two-handed force animation. And this is a product description I found of this new Grogu. Star Wars Galactic Snacking Grogu with interactive accessories. Is hungry for four stacking fun with a galaxy of features including adorable sounds, fun animated motions and interactive accessories. This animatronic toy is ready for action and adventure. Place any of the included entertainment inspired accessories in his hand and he'll react. Put an accessory in his mouth and he'll make eating sounds. That lets you know if he thinks it's yummy or yucky. When Grogu wants to be picked up and held, he'll reach up with both arms and with force activation, the galactic snacking Grogu toy will perform a two-handed force move inspired by scenes from season two of the live action series The Mandalorian. Additional features include series-inspired sound effects, a premium soft goods robe, moving head, arm, ears, arms and blinking eyes. So Paul, what do you think? What's your initial impression just on the appearance of this new one on the on the right there to the one that came out last year? That's a uh, different colour, isn't it? And uh, some of the... The face seems more baby-like. You think so? Yeah, uh, and somehow simpler. I think it's something to do with the mouth. Yeah, I think that mouth looks very much like the mouth on the Cuddles, My Giggly Monkey. I've just got a picture here of Cuddles. Uh, what you were saying, it's got like two two lines down the sides because it's like yeah. separate uh, i suppose it's got to be like that to move but it makes yeah. it a little bit like a, a sort of ventriloquist dummy yes you do sacrifice something when you add in functionality because if you look at his hand there he's got a great big hole in his hand mm -hmm. and that's um so he can put all these accessories in oh, you right. sort of uh yeah, yeah. You know, you sort of click them into this hole in his hand, which seems a bit of a clumsy way of doing it. Is that how he senses what it is as well? Is yes. Sort of physical contact? Yes. And as well as this extra functionality, being able to interact with things, some accessories, is also bigger. It's 23.5 centimetres, but it's more expensive as well. So the old one was fifty nine ninety nine. This is going to be seventy nine ninety nine. So how do you think you, they compare? There, you got it's going to be twenty pounds more, Paul. I suppose you're getting quite a bit more for your money, aren't you? You're getting um, more animatronics and more. Uh, uh, well, you've got the toys and more interactive uh, ability. So um, it's, yeah, you're getting more. You're definitely getting a good, a better deal. I think. Do you think so? Mm, mm. Are you sacrificing some of that um, nice styling on the face? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'd see more as uh, one, one more as a sort of uh, model to look at there, and this one as a model to um, sort of uh, play, play with. with. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It also both arms 
uh, a motorised. Mm. Whereas on the one that come out last year... It's just one, isn't it? Two, yeah, uh, the other one's just poseable. Mm -hmm. So I'd say overall, um, we quite like it, don't we? Yeah, I think for the extra 20 quid, uh, I'd go for the ladies' one. Mm, and we will be. <laughs> yeah, we'll be getting this one when it comes out. It'll come out in December and uh, be able to do a review then and a proper comparison, won't we? With, Look forward to that, yeah. Yes, last year's Hasbro and Metrotic edition of uh, The Child. <laughs>